Nestled within the heart of Indonesia, there lie the Banggai Islands, a paradise tucked away from the mainstream tourist radar. Escape the ordinary and embark on an unforgettable journey. These islands are waiting to be discovered. are packing because we are leaving Luvuk. We are going to the Bangai Islands. We are taking the ferry which is departing at 2 p.m. and we're going to stay there for five nights. And I'm very excited because Bangai Islands are not really known. So let's see how this is gonna be. The journey to the Bangai Islands is a bit challenging to plan and it's still not very touristy. But in this video, I'll help you with that. But first, let me show you the Bangai Islands. <laughs> this is our first destination on the Bangai Islands. It's such a beautiful lake. The water is so clear and I can't wait to go in the water now. It is the most beautiful and clearest lake I've ever seen. Just a 15 minutes drive from Paisupok Lake, you will find a breathtaking and empty beach. And don't forget to bring your snorkel equipment. our second day on the Bangai Islands and yesterday in the evening we drove two hours a little bit more to the south because today we are going to visit a cave. I am going to show you the homestay over here in a second because this is actually pretty new for tourists. There were no tourists at all so far, we are the first ones because you can't find this homestay like on the internet, you have to book it actually through the guide. So basically if you come to the Bangai Islands you have to come with a guide because it is pretty unknown here and they don't have really like hotels, they just have homestays and it's really hard to find one. So I would advise to get a tour guide and yeah, let's make a room tour. So the room tour, this is the main area we are having breakfast over here you're gonna have dinner over here and we're always sitting here and having a chat i gotta show you the chairs it's crazy it's made out of tires from cars That's so amazing so yeah basically this is the main area there are three rooms over here one two and the third one is ours let's go inside so this is the room with the bed we have a fan over here and then there is the bathroom and you really have to get used to these toilets if you're here in the Bangai Islands because this is just normal over here so get used to this and I think that's it that's our homestay our second homestay and now we're leaving to the cave Just a 10 minutes drive from the first cave, you'll find another cave, which I liked even more. We are leaving this island for another one nearby, but before that, we have an amazing last stop to explore.
the third and last homestay. We arrived here yesterday at sunset and we're going to stay here for two nights and I have to say this homestay is actually my favorite one so far. And we got here, this is a different island. We got here with a speedboat which took us about 30 minutes and this island has such a beautiful beach, it's called Oyama Beach so I can't wait to explore this beach. And yeah, two nights left. Let's do one final room tour which was my favorite one. And after that, we're heading to a beach which I'm so excited about. It's just a short and easy 10 minutes ride by speedboat. Not far from this beach, you have to visit another amazing location. Wait until you see the view from above. What an amazing day and on our way back we stopped for snorkeling so don't forget to bring your snorkeling equipment to the Bangai Islands. trip is coming to an end and we are taking the ferry back to Luvuk which is gonna take 8 hours. So you will probably have some questions now which I'm going to answer. The trip is going to start in Luvuk. You will take the ferry from Luvuk's port to Peleng Island and arrive at the Leme Leme village. It departs every day at 2 p.m. and takes 2 hours. We stayed at three local homestays which our tour guide organized for us. One was near Paisupok Lake, the other one was near Bab Banang Cave and the last one was on the Bangai Laut. Don't expect luxury at the homestays. The rooms are very basic with a fan, squat toilet, cold water bucket for showers and electricity from approximately 6pm to 6am. Altogether, I recommend you to get a guide because of the following reasons. They don't speak English on the Bangai Islands, there are no hotels and it's really hard to get around on your own once you get there since it's still very undeveloped. It is manageable but more complicated to plan. I would love to share with you our guide. His name is Ikram and he organizes every trip to the Bangai Islands. All I can say is you're gonna have an amazing time with him. I hope you like this video and I see you soon.